Jury selection for the trial of Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes begins Tuesday in San Jose, California, following Holmes's allegations of abuse against her former boyfriend and Theranos COO, Ramesh Sunny Balwani, that came out over the weekend. Holmes is charged with wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud stemming from a multi-million dollar scheme to defraud investors, and a separate scheme to defraud doctors and patients, according to the Northern District of California United States Attorney's Office. The pair were originally charged together, but the trials were severed in January 2020 for a reason that was undisclosed until newly unsealed court documents revealed that Holmes alleged just seeing Balwani could trigger debilitating PTSD symptoms. Her team has also signaled that Holmes will likely be testifying at the trial, which would be hindered if Balwani were present. One filing states that Holmes and Balwani had an abusive intimate partner relationship and that Balwani had psychological and emotional control over Holmes, creating a pattern of abuse and coercive control. The documents detail evidence that Holmes plans to introduce, including claims that Balwani controlled what she ate, how she dressed, how much money she could spend who she could interact with. They allege Balwani monitored her calls, text messages, and emails and was physically violent throwing hard, sharp objects at her, restricting her sleep and monitoring her movements. The defense made this argument that Elizabeth has suffered so greatly at the hands of Balwani, and that therefore she couldn't even maintain her composure physically at the trial. That's a pretty devastating allegation to me. Criminal defense attorney Caroline Polisi told ABC News Rebecca Jarvis on the dropout, Elizabeth Holmes on trial.